Well, it's great to see you again on this Thursday, day before Good Friday. Thank you so much for joining me. It's such an honor to be able to come and be able to talk to you for just a couple minutes and encourage you with what God is at work doing. You may have noticed we've got a little different setting here. Jill decided that since we're in our home, we need to set up a little bit of an office area so that we can have a little more uh, effectiveness, let me put it that way. And so what we did is uh, I actually have this uh, desk that was my grandfather's. And it was, uh, it's really the only item that I've received from him since he passed many years ago. But it came from the McDonald Hotel in Edmonton, Alberta, and was uh, actually built before 1915. And then I inherited it from him. And now I get to use it as a desk and as a memory of uh, my family legacy. But today I want to talk to you about peace. God's peace, shalom, the peace of God that includes his joy, includes his presence. And so this is a day really when God wants us to be different as the followers of Jesus Christ. We've talked before about what the Bible has to say about what the kingdom of God is within us. The kingdom of God is righteousness, it's peace, and it's joy in the Holy Spirit. And so this peace is actually part of what God puts into our lives, right down inside of us by his presence, when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. But when we hear all the stuff going on around us, anxiety is everywhere. There's bad news everywhere. And so what do we do? We understand that peace is something on the inside of us. And although we can be affected by what's around us and by what we hear, we can choose to go beyond that. There are some that I know that have stopped listening to any news reports. They don't want to know. They just want to live their life in a right way and be able to be at peace inside. I applaud you for that. Take the precaution, follow the rules along with everyone else, but don't put your focus on the negative reports on all the challenges that are out there. Instead, look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. A couple of days ago, we talked about rejoicing, and we talked about how God works with joy in our lives. And Philippians at chapter 4 really talks about that rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. We talked about that. But then it continues and says, Let your gentleness, gentleness be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. And then it says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything with prayer and thanksgiving, make your requests known to God and the peace of God that passes all understanding will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. So I want to focus for just a moment today on the peace of God and how you can really allow the peace, stir up the peace of God inside of you. Much of it is where you focus. Jesus said, I give you peace. In the world you'll have turmoil, but I have overcome the world. I give you peace. When there was a storm on the sea and all the disciples were freaking out, they were totally anxious. And he said, peace, be still to the, to the storm. And it calmed immediately. He is still called the Prince of Peace. He's the one that makes peace happen. He's the one that brings about the calm in the midst of the storm, the solution in the midst of the trials, the protection in the midst of the pandemic. He is the one that does that for us. So when we put our focus on him and we understand who he is to us and what he is actually doing even now, seated at the right hand of the Father, praying for you, praying for me, believing God, just allowing the, the word of God to come forth by his stripes, we are healed. By his stripes, we were healed. All of those things are part of what Jesus is doing now as our Prince of Peace. So I want to encourage you, friend. Draw on the peace of God. Focus on whatsoever things are pure and just and lovely of good report. Look for the good reports. Look for what God is doing even now, how he's protecting people, how he's bringing many people even that have become positive to this COVID-19, bringing them through the vast majority, well over 90%, coming through successfully and quickly. Trust that he is at work there doing that with those that you know, doing that in the community around us. We're going to make it through. We're going to come through successfully. But we come through with our faith activated and peace 
growing in our heart that we can share with our family. So I want to encourage you, share peaceful words with your family. Do not let turmoil come into your household. If the opportunity comes, choose to back up, not just go silent, but instead say something positive and watch the peace of God remain in your home. I may talk a little bit more about that, but I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, 1030 at bcfchurch.net. Join us for a great Good Friday service. We're going to share communion as well, so get your communion stuff ready so that we can have a great time tomorrow. God bless you.